When I'm teaching and using subdivisional surfaces, I switch my workflow to subdiv found under the preferences. This helps me focus my marking menus and my shelf to the tools that I need for the workflow. For the class, we really want to emphasize the placement of edges can drastically change the resulting shape. I would suggest building these examples live in order to show how simplicity or a very simple cage of a cube will result in a sphere. Adding additional divisions or spans will result in a rounded cube. And simply placing the edges on either side, top and bottom, results in a rounded cylinder. We will go through these concepts in detail when building a gear selector. But for the class, I would highly recommend using this as a way to discuss all of the components of the subdivision surface, as well as how important it is to place the edges to get the shape that you're looking for.